My love, things can change drastically in your life. You already believe that, by the way. You might not be applying that to something positive, but you and I have both witnessed moments in our lives where things may have changed drastically, just maybe not in a way we would have wanted it to. Maybe you're like me and you've lost someone in your life and you've just seen how your world completely flipped upside down. Or maybe you or someone that you love lost a job and you saw how quickly that impacted them. I think we're just so quick to notice the negative things in our lives that we sometimes forget to apply that same energy positively because if it is true in one direction, it can also be true in another direction. I had this thought the other day on an airplane where I have a little bit of airplane anxiety that I've been working through a lot. And I was on this airplane and we were about to land and I always have to look at the monitor in front of me just to feel safe and like know what's going on or what like when I start to feel things change I know that we're landing and it said that there was just five minutes left on the flight and so there were a couple voices in my head the first voice it like sighed of relief like okay whew, just five more minutes we just we'll be fine in five minutes and then the other voice which was super loud was like five minutes, girl. Do you know how many things can happen in five minutes? Do you know how many bad things can happen to you right now in these five minutes? Five minutes is a lot of time for things to go wrong. I've been doing this whole thing, by the way, if you've watched any of my other videos where I don't just let the voices in my head get away with saying whatever they want, okay? Like setting boundaries in life also applies to you and the things that you let your internal dialogue get away with. So that's just a side note. Now I've started engaging them in this, what I call a friendly but firm dialogue where if they say things and I don't want to believe in what they're saying, like for example, not believing that something bad is going to happen in the last five minutes of this flight, I will start to talk back and engage it in a friendly but firm discussion. So then I had a new voice and it was like, oh, that's interesting. So that means you believe that a lot can happen in five minutes. And the other voice is like, yeah, that's what I just said. Duh, aren't you scared? And I'm like, I mean, we can talk about that later, but when we get off of this plane and everything works out because it will, I want you to remember that you think that. And it was like, what? What are we talking about right now? Like what? And it, it's funny because I feel like I confused my anxiety in that moment by having like a deeper intellectual discussion for that five minutes. And it was like, yeah, a lot of times in life you believe and by you I mean that voice specifically represents my anxiety and so this calmer voice was like you believe that things take a lot of time for them to work out you believe that you know things can't good things can't happen quickly for you and so I want you to remember that if you believe that a lot of things can happen in five minutes I want you to keep that same energy when we get off of this plane and when we're working towards our goals or when we're trying to see things manifest or change in our lives. So that was the little deal that we had with each other where the other voice is like, okay, girl, that's if we get off this flight. <laughs> but okay, if we get off this flight, I will believe that. And I've held myself to it where I'm like, yeah, I do believe that things can happen fast. I do believe that sometimes things take time and that's okay, but I also have a version of me who really believes that things can happen so fast in my life and that time really can just be an illusion. I've been really doubling down on that belief because when I sit back and really, really, really think about it, and I want you to do this too, there have been so many things in my life that have seemingly changed overnight. Once again, the ones that I feel I have the quickest access to in my memory just naturally are negative things. So losing my dad suddenly, overnight, watching how the world transformed after that for me. But then there's also positive ones that come up. Like I got into business school after being on the wait list. Like I didn't know it was gonna happen. And then just in that one phone call, everything changed for the positive. Or even recently, we literally just decided overnight that we need to go overseas and be with family like that's a positive thing there's also been a lot of personal things happening where i'm like oh my god i thought that that was gonna take years and that happened now that quickly just because of that one event all of these things have changed and it's just mind-blowing when you really sit back and challenge your notion of time and it's honestly not just time that you're challenging it's your notion of faith and what God can do. We try to apply these very human rules and super predictable formulas to what God can do when God doesn't operate in any of that because that's just the mechanism that our brain creates to try to make sense of how things work out. 
when in reality, the way things work out happens in a much more purposeful, intentional way that we can't really understand fully. But reminding yourself that in the past, things have happened quickly. And that if you were to just let go of that attachment to how things are supposed to play out, you will kind of create space for things playing out the way that they're just supposed to. I've been applying this to my career where I feel like so many people talk about their limiting beliefs of, well, you have to do this for this long and then this has to happen and then it takes years to be able to do this. And I'm like, okay, well, that's what you believed and that's how it happened for you. And it really begs the question, did that happen for you because that's what you believed? I would say yes. A lot of us think that, no, that's how it was going to happen for them. And so their beliefs are formed off of how, how their experience ended up playing out. But how do we know that their experience didn't only play out like that because that's what they chose to believe? That's where I'm at in life now. I'm at a place where I know that my beliefs are creating my reality. So then it's like, okay, duh, let me just pay more attention to what I choose to believe. And right now in this phase of my life, I'm choosing to believe that good things can happen fast. And that has just been such a fun, it's just been such a fun thing to believe because now I'm always on the edge of my seat and it humbles me to remind myself that I'm not the one running this. I'm not the one running this. I'm on someone else's timing. I'm on God's timing and God's timing has never, ever, ever, ever led me astray. And I always feel the need to remind myself of this part right here. If I got everything I wanted, I would be so much worse off than I am right now. Like I am better off with God's plan and God's timing than I would have been with my plan and my timing. So much better off, unbelievably better off, in awe of how much better off I am. So I'm not going to do this thing where I act like I know best because I know I don't know best. And history has shown me that I don't know best. The only thing that I know is how I feel today and what I feel called to do today. I'm going to focus on that and follow that and leave the rest up to God because God knows best and I trust that. But one thing I know God has been telling me is to challenge the beliefs that I have right now. And even in doing that over the past couple of months, I've seen a transformation in just how I approach life and how life loves me back. And I just love that. I love that for me and I'm gonna keep doing it. So I want you to do the same thing, my love. If this inspires you, feel free to do the same thing. Challenge your notion of time. Lean into what it truly means to be faithful and just do your part and leave the rest up to God. And let me know what this brings up for you or if you're down to try it. I love you so much and as always, stay powerful my love.